Turnberry Isle, Miami, in the heart of the South Florida Aventura Resort, boasts two championship courses and benefits from the region's glorious sunshine, perfect for winter golf. This originally started off and opened as Aventura Country Club back in the early 70s. Uh, so we had 36 holes designed by Robert Trent Jones Sr. And as the property evolved and grew and the hotel um, started to take shape, um, Mr. Sofer hired uh, Raymond Floyd to come in and completely redesign both golf courses um, and really transform this place into one of the premier resort and clubs uh, in, in South Florida. Asked to create two unique courses, Raymond Floyd brought in a mammoth amount of earth to carve and sculpt the landscape. The result has rewarded members with two wonderfully conditioned and designed courses. We did a renovation about nine years ago. They put $42 million into this property. And not because I work here, we have the most well-conditioned and the nicest layout in all of South Florida. People like to talk about Doral and, you know, the Blue Monster, but people go there and they come back and they agree with me most of the time, I would say. Yes, the courses earn the respect of members and visitors who need to place their shots carefully to overcome clever bunker and pin placements. The Sofer course has a lot of landscaping and it's more of a um, target golf where you have to be pretty precise. Whereas the Miller course is a little more wide open, doesn't have as much landscaping, and is more of a traditional course. So I think one of the great beauty of our course is you can, it's like playing entirely two different golf courses each day instead of a facility that just has 18 holes and you play the same course every day. Um, the Miller golf course only plays about 6,400 yards from all the way back but it's a par 70. We've got some really challenging par threes out there. We have two par threes on the Miller course that from all the way back play well over 200 yards. Actually, the 11th hole plays 250 yards, sometimes into the wind. So it's, it's got some teeth, um, but the tees go from, again, 6,400 all the way up. And then the, the forward set of tees, which are great for beginners and juniors, or even a quick round of golf where you want to work on your wedge game, it's only 5,000 yard golf course. Most of the time, uh, you know, unless you're a real good player, not too many people shoot under par here. You know, like I said, we've had uh, you know, quite a bit, quite a few uh, big name pros. Bernard Longer was here a couple of years ago. He shot, I believe, two under par from the back tees. Uh, VJ Singh's been here before, and he, he came off the course. He said, I can't believe your members play this course. He thought it was, he found it very difficult. But it's, there's something for everybody, and uh, Mr. Sofer and Raymond were very smart. We have five sets of tees, so, People from every level can play, you know, from all the way back to all the way up to the front tees that makes it a fair test for everybody. A retreat in the middle of the bustling metropolis of Miami, the courses also provide a unique opportunity to interact with nature. Our resident iguanas are, to me, probably the most fascinating uh, wildlife that we have. And, and you'll see as you go throughout the golf course, they, are, they vary in size uh, from some that are probably three or four feet long all the way to the, to the little ones. No alligators, though. Benefiting from a world-class hotel and resort within walking distance of the courses and world-class service, Turnberry Isle, Miami attracts celebrities and golfing pros from around the world. If you're looking for some winter sun, make sure this goes on your must-visit list. <laughs>